Hi everyone, this is Mansi. Today I am going to give you five tips for painting still life. By proving my point, I am going to show you how I paint live rose flower. Live, not from a photograph. My first tip is set up stable lighting. What I mean by that is using artificial lighting instead of natural light. Because natural light is not stable unless you can finish the painting in two hours. For that case, you might consider natural light. I am setting a bad example here because I was so confident that I can get this done in two hours. However, my camera battery is out, so I need to, you know, charge, I need to wait. Also, I took snack time, so I didn't take two hours. I think I took three hours total. After painting my blue background, I thought I just gonna drink my tea and chill, but I can't. I just cannot wait. I don't have the patience. I use my blow dryer to dry it out. My second tip is don't stress. It's supposed to be difficult. If you are a beginner or a new art student, you find this to be difficult. That is totally normal. Painting from life is very different compared to painting from an image or your imagination, like illustration art. Here to show you how I paint a rose flower from my imagination. For doing this type of art, the main thing you need to do is making beautiful color shape because you are not looking at a live object. You just need to create whatever looks pretty that is good enough. When you're doing a live painting, you are looking at a three-dimensional object and you have to transfer this three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional painting. If you're painting by looking at a photograph, which is transferred 2D into 2D, it's a lot easier compared to looking at 3D and transfer to 2D. Live painting is supposed to be difficult. If you are working on a live painting, I am giving you a plus because you are doing some things very challenging. If you never try a live painting before, I highly suggest you try one because it will improve your skill tremendously. By the way, there are nothing wrong by painting from imagination or looking at a photograph. I do that all the time. It's just a different experience. Well, a, a lot more challenge experience. The third tip is get the right color. If the reason why you're doing a live painting because you want to improve your skill, then you need to try your best to get the right color. So what I mean for the right color, actually there are no such thing as the right color because we all see things different from our eyeballs, right? Here, I mean, what is the color do you see? Can you mix the color you see, not the color you think? For example, I'm painting a pink rose here. I think pink rose has pink and a white color. So can I create a rose with only two colors? Of course I can. However, that's not my purpose for doing live painting here. I'm here to paint this particular rose. I can see it has more than pink and white. It has a little crimson, orange, burgundy, and more colors. This is a great way to train your eyes to see colors on the subject and to improve your color mixing skill. 
My fourth tips here is forget the detail. Don't focus on the tiny bit of details. Like this petal have so many tiny lines here. I gonna paint it one line by one line. Come on, you are not painting cells here, okay? By doing that, you are driving yourself crazy. The details are not important in this type of exercise, unless you are working on a super realistic painting and you are an advanced painter. For beginners, please focus on getting the right color. The fifth tip is take your time. I already explained to you before, this is a very challenge word. So why stress yourself to get it done so rush? Just take your time to get the right color, practice your color mixing skills, painting skill, transferring 2D to 3D skill. Well, here I'm setting a pretty bad example just like I mentioned it before because later my lighting change. I was using natural light, which is not a good idea. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more art-related content. Also, please leave a comment if you have any suggestion for me. Here, I just want to show you my imagination one. I think it's even more artistic than the live painting one. Again, nothing wrong with that. I just want to show you guys it's very challenge for work from life. I spend way less time painting on the left one. Here is the final piece. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next week. Bye.